Hi, and welcome to this episode of John's Model Kit Review. Today we're going to be talking about one of my least favorite aspects of scale modeling, and that is masking between applications of paint. One of the most efficient ways I have found to mask between application of paint colors is to use a combination of thinly rolled snakes of either Silly Putty or in this case I use some Artist Kneadable Eraser. I run the thinly rolled strips along the demarcation lines between the colors and then I use rubber cement to mask the paint that I have already applied and that I'm trying to protect. For me this method is very effective at keeping paint off of surfaces that I don't want to get that next color on. Depending on the softness of the demarcation line, you can also use masking tape in combination with rubber cement to get a very crisp, hard-edged line. And you can see for the yellow ID stripes on the front of the wings, I've used some Tamiya tape, and then I have painted over the backside of the Tamiya tape with the rubber cement. I also used rubber cement in coordination with some paper towel to mask off the entire canopy section. This was really quick and easy and since I don't like putting the rubber cement over the taped canopy sections, I simply covered them with the paper towel and applied the rubber cement around the edges. Some things to be careful of using this technique. You actually want to apply the rubber cement very thickly. The layers should be at least a sixteenth of an inch thick on all surfaces. What this means is if you don't take your time and do it slowly and kind of let it dry a little bit, as you turn the model over or from side to side, you can have runs in the rubber cement while it's more wet. That can run over the tape. It can also run over the snakes of kneadable eraser. Another method that I have used to mask the wheel wells on this kit, I lightly wet the paper towel and just gently put it into place in the wheel wells. It conforms nicely and it keeps the paint out of those complex areas. It's a fairly quick and easy way to mask off your wheel wells. Once all my colors are applied, I will gently remove the masking by starting at an edge and just kind of pulling my thumb along that edge and it will start to roll the rubber cement off of the paint. And I've not had any major issues with the rubber cement peeling up the underlying acrylic paint that I use. For me, this is the quickest and easiest and most efficient way to mask the compound curves, the different surface areas, etc. that are found on the model aircraft that I usually build. I have not used this method in combination with oil-based paints or lacquers. You may want to test and make sure that the rubber cement does not react in a negative way to your paints that you are trying to protect before doing this. I would also suggest applying the rubber cement over an area where you've spread some newspaper because on occasion it does drip and it can get in your clothes, it can get on your chair, it can get in the carpet. You just want to guard against that. Using the snakes of Kneadable Eraser, I really like the somewhat precise but still soft-edged demarcation line that I get when I use my airbrush. It gives just a bit of softness, and to my eye, for most applications, it's scale appropriate. It doesn't give the hard-edged line that you could get if you mask everything with tape. Well, I'd love to know what you guys think. If any of you have used a similar technique before, please feel free to share in the comment section below. As always, I hope you found this video entertaining and informative, and until next time, model on.